Everybody that follows us for the message for the day, I am Ramon Leonato speaking from the Ashram for Unfoldment. Thank you very much for joining. Today is January the 8th and the title of the message for the day is There is no light without shadow. This universe of ours requires light and shadow as opposing forces to come into existence. From a physical point of view, you, you know you need matter and dark matter, energy and dark energy, or uh, an electron and a proton. You need that opposing forces. It is uh, uh, the energy, which is everything that moves, if, is the mass, according to Einstein, mass, which is inertia, is darkness, is shadow times the square of the speed of light, which is light. So light and shadow create existence. We need both. So judgment is an error, because what are you going to judge? The need of shadow and light to create existence? So you are the illusionist the magician who creates the private illusion of your life that you consider so real. We wake up in the morning and as illusionists that we are, we project in the screen of our mind the private illusion of our life that we consider so real, but only we know and nobody cares about, because everybody is playing to his own illusion. But if you destroy the illusion, you also destroy reality, because the illusion is the opposite of reality. Without reality, non-reality cannot exist, because everything has to be compared to something in relative terms. You light an oil lamp and a shadow appears beside it. The shadow is real. You turn off the light and the shadow disappears. But remember, that in destroying the shadow, you have also destroyed the light. It is our interpretation of things that shape our individualized existence. So, light and shadow have to be together, but we tend to say this is good and this is bad. A scientist cannot uh, try to understand an atom thinking electrons that are negative without mass are psh, bad and protons you know with mass and positive those are good or the lions uh, that carnivores that eat the gazelles vegetarians are bad and the gazelles are good no to understand nature you have to simply understand the law of opposites and you are part of nature your thoughts are part of nature. Everything that exists within you is part of nature. So to understand you and understand your circumstances, you have to acquire a little bit of a scientific mind. And instead of judging things good or bad, understand things as opposing forces. The mind is continued with the body. There is no division. We think that the mind is one thing and the body is another thing, but mind and body are the same thing. It's again opposing forces, but the same thing. So the practice for today is very simple. For today, and only for today, Whenever you look at something in your life or that is happening or that comes to you during the day, avoid looking at it as good or bad. For today, act as if you were a scientist and just try to see the opposing forces that are acting during your day. Because during your day, there will be opposing forces actuating. Don't think about them, one is good, another is bad. 
No. Think about them as opposing forces and look at them as if you were a scientist from another galaxy that came and, and is, you know, just landed in your day and is trying to analyze what are the opposing forces that are playing out during that day. This scientist from another galaxy has only 24 hours to analyze your movement, 24 hours, no less, the scope of one waking day, which is 16 hours, more or less. So to, today, tomorrow, if you do the practice tomorrow, which is probably the best thing, you listen to me, unless you f start the day now, uh, you start the day with the practice for the day and the message for the day. So normally you would use the day before. So anyhow, this is the practice. This is the message for today. I hope you have a very beautiful day. Remember, it's only one day. You have to do it only for today. It's only that practice. In the rest of your life, you continue doing it normal. Just apply this little practice today, tomorrow will be another day, tomorrow will be another practice, and we alternate them in a way that are very easy to follow. So thank you very much for listening. Have a very beautiful day. Namaste.